So with my Florida trip and some other things going on, it seems like it's been forever since I've done any work on this edition. I got to get back to it or I'm not going to finish it until next Christmas. <laughs> so today I'm going to have to widen this door. Here we go. Wow. Well, hey everybody, I'm Bill with Live Simple, Live Free. And this doorway is where the window used to be. And I took the window out and turned it into a door. The problem is it's not quite wide enough. I need, I, I want to have at least a 36 inch opening here so we can get furniture in and out and eventually, God forbid, wheelchairs, whatever. Um, and this is a couple inches too narrow, so I'm going to have to widen it. So this is actually a bearing wall. This, this used to be the outside wall of the house that holds up the roof. And uh, I need, like I said, I need at least 36 inches. Right now I've got 34 and a half and I would think, well, that's almost close enough, but it really isn't because see how over here, there's a jack here that holds up this uh, header. The jack here has been removed. When we got our new refrigerator, it wouldn't fit through and I had to take out that jack to get it through. So now what that means is that this header doesn't have any support underneath of it and that's not a good situation. So. I'm going to have to come over here 36 inches and then put a jack over here and then another full stud that goes all the way up which means that I have to make this header probably at least three inches longer. So I'm going to have to take out this, put in a new stud, a new jack, a new header all the way across in order to support this, uh, the roof line. Now in reality it's probably not going to go anywhere because there's only two uh, roof rafters up there and they're close to the edge. And it's all tied into this and everything else. So it's probably safe the way it is. It's just not right. And so I'm going to make it right. So I want a 36 inch opening so I'm I'm going 37 and a half from there to there. That gives me a half inch on either side for sheetrock on, on the inside which will give me an opening of 36 inches, 36 and a half inches. Now down here there's this 1x4 that runs di diagonally up into the corner and that was part of the original structure to make the wall strong so it wouldn't flop this way. At this point I could probably cut that out of there, but I'm not. I'm going to keep it in place. So I want to go 37 and a half inches. It'll be right there. Now that's to my jack. I'll have the jack here and then the stud. So three inches inch and a half and the stud. So I got a stud here and a jack here. So now I've got this stud cut to length and a little notch there for this board.
there we go got the new header in got the jack in to support it just put a couple nails in it and I'll be good to go Well, I was actually kind of dreading doing this job, and I'm not really sure why. It was fast and easy. It's the, whole, the whole thing only took me about an hour. It's amazing how much more open the whole thing feels when I only move this like three or four inches over here, and now it's just that much wider. Once I put the sheetrock on the insides here, I have about 36 and a half inches in between, which is just about perfect. So, there you go. Made a door wider. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Live simple, live free. You be blessed.